Okay, this video will walk you through um, how to put the MQTT message into different queues in the Rabbit MQ message broker. First, you need to know that all these uh, MQ me uh, MQTT messages will be mapped into the MQ.topic exchange here. This is where the all the MQTT message comes in. And you need to create another exchange. For example, here naming pdent.mqtd.in.topic.exchange. Okay? And then you need to create a binding like this. First, you bind all the keys to the MQTT messages, okay? And then the next step, you will need to create many, many queues for that. So you go to the queues and create what you need for the queues. For example, here you create a classic and durab dur it's durable message. And for example, here I created a pdent mqtd.in.rx mes uh, message queue and a status message queue, yeah. Okay, like this. And then back to the exchange. Click the um, exchange we just created. And uh, you say, bind this routing key, gateway.star which is the wildcard dot rx which is the receive the message to this queue and if it is status message you will put into this queue so that's how you configure the rabbit mq okay now let's go back to the uh, the node red this is a node red and, uh, configuration to process these messages uh, resides in the queues. First, you need to install the um, node red contribute amq ack package to this. And uh, in the uh, amq in, you configure that to read a, from queue, this specific one in message, you will read the RX queue, okay? And uh, if you say, if you just leave it as default, it will, uh, uh, if you disable this, if you disable the prefetch, it will automatically acknowledge the uh, receive message. But if you enable this one, okay, you have to manually acknowledge a message. Otherwise, the message will still stay in the uh, RabbitMQ. Um, and this one, this green colored uh, uh, node is the acknowledge manually acknowledgement. So let me first let me delete this one, and here the function you can process the uh, message for whatever uh, uh, it is. Once it's done, you can acknowledge that. Okay, so let me break it first. So and uh, let me, for example, let me publish a message to the MQTT and then to this queue, RX queue, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, gateway dot uh, here MQTT slash and the star which is the wildcard and RX message. This one will, this message, okay, this message MQTT message will be then put into the RX queue. Let me show you. So publish and uh, let's go to the 
RxQ. See, you see here, total one message. Okay. Yeah, this is one message. I put uh, another three. That should be four messages. You should be seeing four messages here. It's already here. Four messages. Yeah. And uh, on the other side, for the uh, note red, let's have a look. Okay. We received this message, but it's not acknowledged. Okay. Press an another one. Another one, another one. Yeah, it's a queue. So the first message is received, but others are still waiting. Why? Because the first message hasn't been acknowledged. So what you can do is you um, you configure that. You configure the acknowledgement. Um, Acknowledgement node. Once I redeploy, whoa, it will start to process all these messages. Okay. And uh, let's go back to the RabbitMQ. You can see all these messages are now being acknowledged. Yeah, consumer acknowledgement consumer acknowledged so that's how we put mqtt message into rabbit mq to process thank you